Distinguish between proportional and non-proportional situations using an equation, Lesson 4.4b. If an equation is not a linear equation, it represents a non-proportional relationship. A linear equation of the form y is equal to mx plus b may represent either a proportional, that's when b is equal to 0, or non-proportional, that's when b is not equal to 0, relationship. So here we have proportional relationships. We have y is equal to 2x plus 0. Here we have b is equal to 0. This is the y-intercept b. That means it's proportional. Here we have y is equal to 2x. We don't need to write that plus 0. We don't need to add 0, right? 0 property, it's going to stay the same value. So it can be written either like this with the plus 0 or without it. That's proportional. Non-proportional, our b value is a plus 3. That's not equal to 0, so it's non-proportional. Since the y-intercept b is where the graph intersects the y-axis, when b is equal to 0, the graph goes through the origin at 0 for x, 0 for y. This makes the equation proportional. When the y-intercept b is not 0, the graph does not go through the origin. The equation represents a non-proportional relationship. The number of years since Sarah completed sixth grade can be represented by the equation y is equal to a minus 12, where y is the number of years and a is her age, her current age. Is the relationship between the number of years since Sarah completed sixth grade and her age proportional or non-proportional? Our equation is y is equal to a minus 12. Well, this equation is in the form of y is equal to mx plus b, with a being used as the variable instead of x. The value of m, the slope, is a 1. We know that there is an invisible 1 in front of this lone variable, isn't there? And the value of b is negative 12. Since b is not equal to 0, the relationship is non-proportional. So just remember, when you see a lone variable, there's actually a 1 there. It's 1a. In a proportional relationship, the ratio y to x is constant. We can show that the ratio for y is equal to a minus 12 is not constant. So remember, y was the years since she was in 6th grade, a is her current age, and the minus 12, the negative 12, is the age completed for 6th grade. If we put 14 as her current age, then y is going to equal 2. We have 14 minus 12, y is equal to 2. Our y to x would be 2 to 14, which is equal to a 1 seventh ratio. If our current age is 16, we subtract the 12, we get a 4. y is equal to 4. Our y to x ratio is 4 to 16, which simplifies to a 1 fourth ratio. We have different ratios. Since the ratios are different, the rate of change is not constant. If the rate of change is not constant, it's non-proportional. Now, in the equation y is equal to a minus 12, y was the number of years since Sarah completed sixth grade, and a was her current age. If the equation y is equal to 12a represented Sarah's age in months, y, and her given age in years, a, the relationship would be proportional because the ratio of age in months to age in years is constant as 12. Our y to x would be age in months to age in years, and if she's 14, her age in months is 168 months, that's a 12 to 1 ratio, and if she's 16, her age in months is 192 months, it's a 12 to 1 ratio. It's the same ratio, so it's constant. Well, this would be a proportional equation. This one was not. Take a look at this equation. We have 8 is equal to 2x. Well, that equation is non-proportional. It is a non-proportional relationship because there's only one variable, x. 
two different variables are needed in a proportional relationship, this equation only has one term on each side of the equation. We have a term here and a term here. And we may mistakenly assume it's proportional. Well, x can only equal 4 because 2 times 4 is 8. So there's no constant rate of change for a proportion. It's one value. It's 4. Here we have our proportional and non-proportional labels again. It's telling us to determine whether the given equations are proportional or non-proportional and label them. So remember the rules. If the y-intercept is equal to 0, then it is proportional. If it's not equal to 0, it's non-proportional. We can look at this first one right away and see it's got a plus 3. This y-intercept b is not equal to 0. This is non-proportional. Now look at this one. We have 11 is equal to 5 tenths x minus 4. Well, again, this y-intercept b is not 0, so this is non-proportional. Now look at this one. We've only got two terms on each side of the equation, but look, we have two variables. We could write plus 0 here. This is a proportional relationship. This is a proportional equation. Now look at this one. We have 24 equals 3a. Do you remember what we just talked about? We need two variables, two different variables to have a proportional relationship. And we only have one variable, a. This is a non-proportional relationship. We don't have a constant rate of change. The only thing a can equal is 8 because 3 times 8 is 24. a can't equal anything else. There's not a difference of constant rates of changes for the values. It's just 8. Now look at this one. We have y is equal to 3r plus 0. Ah, we've got our plus 0. We've got two variables. That is a proportional relationship. So it can be written in the form of y is equal to mx plus b, but it may have different variables. In this one, instead of y, we've got d, but that's okay. In this one, we've got q and p instead of y and x. That's okay also. Here we have y and r. That's okay. It's still written in the form of y is equal to mx plus b. Okay, we're finished with part B. We're going to move on to C, which, same beginning, distinguish between proportional and non-proportional situations using a table this time. I hope you enjoyed the rest of your day, and I hope this all makes sense to you. And please join me for the next part of the lesson. Bye.